Next, I would like to add basic validation functionality to our code. I want to make sure that the user will not be able to leave a row if the date is not valid in it. So let's do that. In our code, I would like to handle the event of when a row is about to be saved. So I'll say over here, override, and I will choose the on saving row. Here I'll say, if orders dot order date is less or equal than a date with the year of 1901, January 1st, then give me a message, it will show an error and say, please enter a valid date. Now the on saving row event will happen whenever a row was changed and the user is about to leave either the row or the screen or the application itself. Let's see how it works. Okay, now that I'm here, I'll put an invalidate and try to leave the row and then I will get the message. Okay, I can then undo my changes and uh, everything will be okay and I'll be able to leave the row. Okay, I can also add similar validations in the control input validation event. Let me show you how it's done. Let's say that I don't want the user to uh, put an empty value in the ship via. So, I'll go to the properties window, select events, and select the input validation event. Okay, double click. And here I can write the code, exactly the same code. I can say if controller, okay, which is our task dot orders dot order, uh, sorry, ship via, okay, is less or equal to zero, message dot show error, please enter ship via. Okay. And now that I run it, the application will prevent me from leaving the ship via field without entering a valid value. Next, I'm going to show you how to uh, look up values from another table.